Here we have Anna Grace, Lucy Marie, Rebecca Claire, and Petra Ann. Four bundles of miraculous joy. The Sandu quadruplets making their morning TV debut. All four healthy, identical girls now home, while Mom Mercedes and Dad Jonathan adjust to their new normal as a family of six under four. The more time I spend with them and you know get to know their little personalities, I can kind of see which one is which. I'm still learning that. The quads are a medical rarity, both because the couple conceived naturally with no fertility treatments and all four babies shared one placenta. Mercedes says she was shocked when she first learned the news. There I am at the doctor's office and I see on the screen multiple little things. I'm like, that can't be right. There's no way. And sure enough, the pointed out one, two, three, four, and there were four little babies. If you've ever had someone tell you that they're expecting quadruplets, <laughs> Your brain can't really wrap around that. Mercedes grateful, she says, to have had a fairly standard pregnancy. But at just 29 weeks and three days, doctors at Texas Children's Hospital determining it was time for delivery, an emergency C-section, supported by their level four neonatal intensive care unit. When you heard them cry mm -hmm. when they came out, it wasn't just crying of, oh, the baby's here. It was crying means that their lungs are functioning. Mm -hmm. And that was just such a heartwarming moment. And there's a whole host of other um, problems premature babies can have um, that we're always monitoring for. In this case, the quads did very well. After a total of 86 days in the NICU, the final quad, Rebecca, was discharged with no medical issues, joining her three sisters and two older brothers happily awaiting them at home. I'm just so happy with how loving they have been with them. And yeah. um, it's just really made this so much more special.